This has been my car camping setup for about a year and a half. It consisted of a mattress that I would lay down just on the car floor there. And what I decided to do is put it on a platform so that I could get a little extra length out of the mattress since I am six feet tall, as well as put some storage underneath. This is my Nemo Philo Luxury pillow that I'll take camping with me. And then the mattress is a trifold mattress, 75 inches long by 25 inches wide and four inches thick. It is quite comfortable, but does take up a lot of space. This is Andy Beck from the YouTube channel NV200 Camper and where I got my inspiration for the car platform bed. What he did is got a tabletop from Ikea along with some table legs and cut them down to size so that he could fit them in his NV200 van. These are the tabletops from Ikea that come in a variety of sizes and colors. There are also a variety of table legs and this is the table leg that is used in this setup. They also have a variety of colors to choose from and coming up, we'll take a look at the dimensions of these table legs. What I decided to do is just buy one tabletop and some table legs to see how it might work for the setup that I wanted in my car. And to cut these table legs down to size, I just used a hacksaw. This is what my setup will look like when it is in my car. I'm just using some extra deep iris plastic drawers and am putting the table over the drawers. They actually ended up fitting perfectly. If you're interested in these drawers, you can find them on my Amazon influencer page. There's a link in the description. This is what my drawer looks like when it's all packed. I'm using some drawer organizers that come in a set from Ikea. There are two of each size. They leave a little extra room on the side for some larger clothing if needed. And these are the smaller sizes that come in that set. I was not completely sold on the tabletops from Ikea. So I went to the hardware store to see what options there were. And I found these solid wood panels that came in a couple different sizes and I ended up getting two of each size. So this is just a draft fit um, with this one table I did I did get a different board. This, this IKEA one works well, but it's just really thick. And I mean, I this is pretty convenient. Got this at Lowe's, so I'm gonna cut down that down to size and just seeing how this mattress fits. This is the Xped 
Mega Matte 10 long wide. It is 77 inches long by 25 inches wide and very comfortable. Here are the two sets of panels I bought marked to cut down to size. Okay, so I am redoing my platform bed. This is the underneath, obviously. I am making it so that I do not have to have so many legs because there were four legs on each piece and there are six pieces so what i've done is i have screwed the legs into this piece here and i screwed the legs into this piece here so the flanges i screwed the flanges into the both end pieces the middle piece is sitting free I'm going to put the piano hinge on and then I'll be able to lift it up and the middle piece will just rest on these pieces. So this is to account for the wheel well and I'm just going to match it up on the other side and see if that will work and then take it out to my car and fit it and then up here these are the long pieces. Let me grab that. So these are the front pieces that go where the feet are in the second row seat. And I cut those down. I think they're about 24 inches high. screwing three screws into the side that is holding the flange. So this I've just measured four inches from the edge and all of these are a half inch from the edge. finished product. I was going to trim it, but I'm not going to. Before, there were a whole lot of legs under there. I do need to go get a piece for that. Um, I already have a piece, so I'll just go put it back. So I hinge the middle piece, like I said, it's not bolted, it just rests on the flanges of the other table legs. So if I need to get in there, if I have both sides set up, I can do that. And then... Here's the underneath of, under the passenger seat. So it's working pretty well so far. Um, these are lined up like that. I, I don't know. That should be fine. But they were before, they were down here on the mat. If I need to collapse it while I drive, um, I just, I can do that. So I can just slide that. Yeah. Yeah, that works. 
and then the seat's not totally in the way. Since building this platform bed, I've used it quite a bit and have made some additional adjustments to it that make it a lot more modular when there are a driver and passenger riding in the car. So if you'd like to see what those changes are, please stay tuned for my future videos. I hope that you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.